my name is Janessa Vetter, and I'm going to be doing a demonstration on the Sayuri Dry Finish Shear. This is my model, Raquel Betts, and we are going to be doing a long textured lob today. All right. And first what I did is I went ahead and separated it into two quadrants. So we're going to go ahead and take a first section before the ear and comb back the rest of her section here and I went ahead and did the same sectioning on this side so again above the ear alrighty so first we are gonna start with our sections and I kind of like to start with diagonal sections And we're going right above her occipital bone. Fortunately, with this haircut, you don't have to use clips. It's not necessary. And we've decided that we're going to go a little bit shorter in the back, keeping some of that length in the front. We want to make sure we're getting as much resistance as possible. Head straight for me. We're gonna go ahead and go in with our next section. Making sure we keep it nice and clean. So I'm going to use the guide that I just cut for our next section. Head down, we want to make sure we're getting as much as resistance as possible. And we're just following our guide. You'll start to notice here in our next section, I'm going to be cutting here at an angle more palm to palm action. Thank you. So you can see our slight angle kind of creating its shape there. There's our angle. And we can do some fine tuning right here. So we're going to move on to our next section. And this time I kind of just drop it all back. You're probably not going to have much hair here. Because normally that's where women's first layer is laying. Okay, head down for me one more time. Making sure we have that resistance. And then you can kind of see where we have our guide.
And then there again, you can see our guide. Nice clean line. And then again, I'm just going to go through and do some fine tuning where needed. All right. So at this time, we can start to incorporate the sides of our haircuts. And I'm more light. Because we're leaving it long in the front, you're not going to have much hair to cut. We're just making sure we're fine-tuning those ends. And you can kind of see, go ahead and tilt down for me, that haircut taking its shape. And I'm going to repeat these steps on the other side. Head nice and straight for me. Appreciate it. Okay, so now that we have our shape in, I am going to go ahead and start to remove some of this bulk, adding some texture. And I'm gonna have to step up. So when we take our first section, we are going to direct it straight off the top of the head. Because we're not doing a heavy stacked bob, we're not going to have too much hair to take off. But you can kind of see where that's going to lay now. And it's going to give us some awesome movement. So we'll kind of take that next section straight up off the head. You can see there where we need to remove. And I'm just lightly point cutting into there. And again, you can see that nice movement that she's now gotten. Just from those little, little teeny tiny layers. Again, straight Now, when we get to this section of the haircut, you want to make sure that you're not grabbing too much hair above the ear because we don't want to create any holes. And I'm just going to repeat on our next side here, taking in our section straight up again.
up. So we do have some texture in the front. I'm gonna go in our mohawk section. And there may or may not be a lot, depending on what haircut you guys first started off with. And then that will give us some of our texture towards the front. Really not that like. I like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can kind of see how much of that bulk mm -hmm. was kind of removed from this angle. And then we're going to just continue to keep Raquel's fringe here in the front. She likes some little sassy. Mm -hmm. And we just recently did a bang trim here, so we may we may not have too much length to cut off. But again, we want to make sure that we tighten up those ends. You can see that the consistency of the bangs are already drying, which I like, because you can see exactly what needs to be taken off. Typically when the hair is wet, the texture is going to continue to be the same, so you may take a little more off than what's needed. So I got the base of the length off, and now I'm just going to go in and I'm going to do some texture with our dry finish here. And you can start to see how it's already softening that line. just do a little layering here in the middle so it's not so heavy and you can kind of see right where some of that heaviness can come off oh yeah that just opens up her fringe too here in the middle again just layering it just a smidge Mm -hmm. Oh, you can see. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up my haircut. And then once we get her nice and smoothed out, we're going to do a lot more texture with our uh, dry finishing shears here. So I'm going to put these down. So we went ahead and just did a nice, smooth full round brush on Raquel and just gave her some body. So now that we have Raquel dry, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take some of that bulk out. So our haircut is about halfway through. A lot of your finishing is going to be once it's dry, which is why these shears are going to be fantastic for this section. And I'm going to kind of prep the same way I did when the hair was wet. And we are going to take this front section above the ear. And we are going to start here in the back. 
And what we're trying to do is we, we've already established our layers here when the hair was wet. So I'm going to do a lot of texturizing in through here, taking out some of that bulk in that weight. And then once we do that, we'll blend those top layers into our um, bottom section. So I am just going to take a section straight up from the head. And you can kind of see where we're going to be removing some of that bulk. So we're not going to take it here to do our layers because we already established that when we're wet. We're working more from the occipital bone. And we're just going to point cut into there. Be patient because these shears are going to work more with a point texture technique rather than using your texturizing shears. So it may take you some time, but just keep working it in. And as we drop, you can already see where some of that weight's coming out. And if you have to go back into the same section, that's okay. Excuse me. We're just doing some slither cutting in there, though, just kind of chunking some of those heavy points out. And as it falls, you can kind of see exactly where we worked. taking that bulk out. And again, once you take that section, you can kind of see exactly where you want to go ahead and take off. Bringing those sides into your middle section, you want to over direct a little so that you don't create any holes. direct and then just kind of point cut into those so we can see where that bulk has been removed you can even kind of take these in if you want to soften your line with your point shears if you feel like your lines a little heavy which I felt like it was here you can kind of point cut into that and you see how it's just softened that up. Again, just kind of point cutting to soften that line. All right. Now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna kind of cross check the layers that we did before. So we're kind of working our way from the bottom up. Here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do some point cut. Yep, perfect. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and take some bulk out of the previous layers, layers we established prior. So we're going to go ahead and point cut into there and we're just softening that line that we created when we did our layers on her wet hair. So you can kind of see once you do your texture you can also do some cross checking. And if you see some parts that need to come off, you can point cut those off as well.
So you can kind of see we're already getting some of that movement. Raquel has quite a bit of hair. So this is really important to do on your clients that have a lot of hair. So you're softening all of those hard lines. Because with this haircut, she's going to want to wear it curly or straight. And the more you soften those lines, the nicer it's going to look when your client wants to wear her hair straight. So I'm just kind of dusting those ends off there. I'm still feeling like it's a little heavy in through here, so I'm going to go ahead and pull some of this section up. And we're going to point cut into that as well. And you can see not a lot of hair is coming off. But the result from just taking your time to do that, you can already see we're getting a little bit better shape than what we were working with. starting to really look beautiful. So go in and use your dry cutting shears as much as you can. And if you feel like there's a section that's too heavy, it's okay to go back through and kind of remove some of that bulk. Working slow and taking out the texture in sections is really going to benefit you in the long run when you start to do your finish. So I can even feel a dramatic change in the amount of hair that Raquel's going to have to work with when she's styling it herself. So the sections that we've been pinning back behind the ear. Are going to be getting some texture as well. We're growing her hair kind of into this lob so you can see she has a little bit of face framing which eventually will kind of grow into her haircut to where we're getting this angle as opposed to um, her forward graduation here. So what I'm going to do because we don't want to take too much length off of these, is just kind of blend them while they're in the transition phase. And we're just going to lightly just kind of dust those ends off so she's not fighting with those as she's styling. And a little goes a long way. And now that's just kind of laying softly with her other layers. And then we're going to go ahead and repeat the same thing on our other side here. Just softly dusting those ends. that it kind of blends here with the rest of our cut. Do whatever angle feels comfortable for you. 
as long as you're just kind of texturizing those ends. So you can see she still has her point here in her lob, but she also has some texture around her base. So she can either style it in, where she has a little bit of wisp there, or we can curl it back with a styling iron. And you can see just that soft, soft bit of texture towards her face is gonna help that blend in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and style with a little bit of a curl, is that, mm -hmm. is that cool? Okay, perfect. Here's your lab curls. Lab. <laughs> okay. We're going with some beachy textured curls, so we're not gonna do a curl that's too tight. Something that's just enough to give her a little beach wave texture. You want some of your curls to go in the opposite direction so they don't fall into each other. What's fun about this is if you keep this underneath part straight, it gives you that perfect effect of the tousled beachy look without looking too overdone. That's sassy. <laughs> so even now that I have Miss Raquel styled, I still see some pieces that are just a little heavy for me and I'm just going to go in and take a little bit of texture out. And that's what's so fun about using your dry textured shears is that you can go in at any time and kind of tweak your cut before your client walks out the door. I'm just going to do just some traditional slither cut just to take some more of that weight out.
Alright, so I soften that piece up just a bit so it kind of matches in with the rest. This is our long layered textured lob. Again, we're doing it where we have a shorter um, haircut in the back, kind of going longer in the front. Just nice and textured with some layers. We did tons of point cutting in here once her haircut was dry. We gave her also a nice fringe a nice textured fringe that just complements that beach layered lob that we gave her today. My name is Janessa Vetter and I highly recommend the Sayuri Dry Textured Finish Shears. I got a perfect textured layered lob on wet and dry hair with just this one shear. Um, over the years of using other shears, I haven't gotten a result that I got by using my Sayuri Dry Textured Finish Shears.